welcome back to the shed everyone i am lonnie and uh yeah you just saw me packing up a round of round of knives uh actually the whole process putting them up for order and uh well putting 30 up for sale making it active and then selling them i did make a mistake though um while i was doing it i accidentally made some of the mugs active instead of the knives at first so for about i don't know 20 seconds uh, the mugs the last round of mugs were live and fortunately i do have the defective ones over here that i still haven't given away i need to do that but um, i also have a case uh well a partial case of mugs so <laughs> two people actually managed to buy uh buy the mugs before i took them down and then put the knives up it, it wasn't but about 40 seconds total uh probably that it took me to do that two people were fast and they bought mugs <laughs> so uh, i do have the mugs to fill those orders they're in they're in those boxes too uh so but yeah thank you everyone that's buying the knives and i gotta say uh un unforeseen um unforeseen consequence of doing this sale like selling 30 a day a lot of people are trying to buy them and what is happening and i didn't know this would happen um people are putting putting a box resizer in their cart and then they're they're going to the form to put in their name and you know put in payment information all that stuff and then a lot of times by the time um by the time they're finished filling out all that stuff and they hit submit um all of the resizers have been sold and it's saying sold out and I, I apologize for that i know that's got to be extremely frustrating i wouldn't want to go through that um i do apologize i didn't know it was going to happen like that and i don't really there's not really anything i can do about it at this point so uh yeah i apologize for that that's not a good experience for you guys so what i may do I could I could maybe sell a few more per day to minimize that a little bit um, but we'll see for now I think I'm just gonna keep on going with the 30 and then next time I get a big order in I'll probably just like sell them all at once to to minimize minimize that from happening but I do apologize I know that is a that's a pain but anyways um, do have some more stuff to do I want to pull some orders tonight um had a good mother's day today hope y'all did too we we went and got a uh, takeout today from uh, a sushi place and um it was funny <laughs> there were like we you know it's like you pull up you call them or whatever say hey we're here and then they bring your order out to the car or whatever um and there were three cars at this sushi place and this blew my mind. Uh, <laughs> three cars at this sushi place. Guy pulls up and he gets out of his car and he says, uh, he says, am I supposed to go in or, or, or what, or call or whatever? And uh, we did go in to pay and then we came back out to the car. So Candace told him that. And, uh, and then he looked at me, he goes, hey, are you the garage sale guy? <laughs> and I'm like, wow, because I've been, like I've, I've been recognized plenty of times like at garage sales or thrift stores or estate sales that happens a lot because in that element uh there's a high likelihood that people that watch those kind of videos are going to be in those kind of places but this was like completely random so uh like a completely random place and uh yeah it was pretty cool I think I think he said his name was Corey. So Corey, if you're watching this, hello, good to meet you. We talked to him for about five minutes or so, but that that kind of blew my mind. But anyways, um, yeah, we we had a good Mother's Day. Hope y'all did too. It's time to pull some eBay orders now. All right, first up, I listed uh, I found a little stack of video games the other day, so I went ahead and listed them, and I sold a few of them, of course. Sonic. We hung some stuff out there needed those screws sonic and the secret rings this sold for 4.99 plus shipping on top and another game sold um golly i just forgot the name of it just from walking over here i, I know what it is though it's this game right here uh lego star wars complete saga for wii 
This sold for $7.99 plus shipping on top. This is going out to Michael who bought it for his brother. So thank you very much, Michael. Hope your brother enjoys and I do appreciate the business. David bought a lot of John Mayer CDs right here. I think these are $9.99 plus shipping on top. And uh, yeah, I was talking about who buys CDs and one of the groups I said was older people. And he says, hey, I'm only 32. So that's not all, the only people that buy them, but I think that's a lot of the people that buy them. Hope you enjoy, David. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And we're gonna get some steps in here. This aisle, this aisle, I'm glad I cleared it out. It's a little wider than this aisle. And I'll have to go around the fan. Straighter shot too. But um, yeah, sold this. Just Dance for Nintendo Wii, $9.99 plus shipping on top. So far, a bunch of easy packers. I sold a jigsaw puzzle to Michael, it's a, like a Matchbox Cars. Yeah, here we go. Matchbox Models of Yesteryear puzzle. This is an old puzzle. It's like, how old is this thing? 1982. So this puzzle is almost 40 years old. <laughs> That's crazy. That's, uh, golly, I was born in 73. So this puzzle, I was nine years old when this was made. And this thing is almost 40 years old. That's scary. But anyway, this is going out to David. Uh, I'm sorry, not David. It's going out to Michael. Thank you very much, Michael. I appreciate it. Look, it originally cost $6.50 back in the 80s. Sold a Stamp It Up stamp. Bloomin' Marvelous. And I can reach all of them without getting on the step stool now, which is nice. Here it is, Bloomin' Marvelous. This sold for $4.99. Uh, plus shipping on top, of course, and this is going to Gary and Anna. Thank you very much, Gary and Anna, and I appreciate the nice little note y'all left, too. Okay, the first item that's going to be kind of a, not a difficult pack, but it's not going to be a standard pack, that's for sure. It is a Batman, of course it's Batman, what else would it be? A Batman cookie jar. Going to one hand carry it, this is crazy because that lake could fall off and then I would just be messed up. All right, there we go, I got it over here. Yeah, this sold, this is a nice little sale here. Sold for $49.99 plus shipping on top. I'm gonna have to pack it very carefully. I'm gonna probably put that in a, probably gonna put that in, let me see. I think I have, you know what? I'm gonna put that in a, like a 12 by 12 by eight box maybe, or a 12 by 12 by 10 box, if it'll fit. And then I'll double box it in a 14, 14, 14, 12 box. That's kind of my plan anyways. Okay, sold a couple more Stamp It Up stamps. Friendly phrases, and I already forgot the other one. Let me see if I can look at it and see. Uh, hang on, let me go back and look. Golly, it sucks getting old. Uh, the other one was sweet essentials and friendly phrases. Okay, and I got friendly phrases. Sweet essentials, sweet essentials, sweet essentials. And sweet essentials, this one right here. So these two sold for a total of $14.99 plus shipping on top this is gonna be it'll make it just barely though. it'll make the uh it'll make the cut for first class we're headed to pop b shelf sold this guy right here ghost rider on motorcycle loose for $19.99 plus shipping on top And I think one more on this account. Yeah, last one on that account. Superman Blue on the eBay shelf. So it's going to be one of these guys. These shelves, are they getting empty or what? Pretty awesome. Uh, starting to get, oh, I think it might be at the bottom. Yeah, he's at the bottom. There he is. Good. All right. This guy sold for $9.99 plus shipping on top. 
And that's everything on not even sure which store this is i think this is the main store the main pc store okay everything is well not everything everything from my main pc store is packed uh, i did end up this is going uh ups by the way this is that cookie jar double boxed and then I padded it out i would have showed y'all but i'm kind of in a hurry <laughs> but uh there was a question that i got in the last last video um actually a couple of people asked that e busy chris said why is ebay not allowing the sale of adult items and cars when managed payment switches over is it just cars or car parts too so i've heard this before uh, but I haven't actually looked at the policy or anything. Just haven't taken the time. And I think we have to switch over by... I got a, a message saying July, I believe. Is it July 15th? That everybody... Well, at least I have to switch over to managed payments. I'm guessing it's... Everyone has to do it. But um, here is... Here is the website. And this covers... like. Manage payments restricted items policy. Certain items are not allowed to be listed by sellers participating in managed payments, even though those items may be allowed on eBay. So, <laughs> what is the policy? Sellers enrolled in managed payments are not allowed to list following items. Adult-only items. Airline, rail, and cruise tickets. Auction services. Bullion. Coins and paper money. Event tickets. Gift cards and coupons, lodging, timeshares, vacation packages, and car rentals. Memberships for campground and RV parks, motor vehicles, and wine. So that is a lot of stuff. Most, like the one that really sticks out, is the bullion and coins and paper money. I don't know, I don't know what the... Maybe these are considered high-risk items that they don't want to deal with. Maybe they're worried a lot about chargebacks and things like that. Um especially like with the gift cards and coupons that's like a high high scam item i guess i don't know i'm guessing um but then it i'll link this page down below it does say why does ebay have this policy when ebay manages the indian payments experience or additional restrictions on what items can be sold that doesn't say why <laughs> it just says that there are additional restrictions we are working to expand the types of items allowed by sellers and manage payments and ensure we are compliant to support them in the future. So it asks the question, why does eBay have this policy? But then it doesn't answer it. It just says that the policy is in place. That's all. It, I mean, it doesn't. So, yeah. Yeah, this is pretty disappointing because they're going to be forcing me to go and... Man, what if I was a big-time coin seller? I'm not. Like, I, I did sell quite a few adult items, as many of y'all know. Most of that stuff is gone, thank goodness. But, man, what if I was a big-time big time, big time uh, coin and gold and silver seller? That would suck. Like, what about these guys, like, uh, some of these really big um, coin shops and stuff, man? This is going to, like... This is going to tear them up. That is really... They are pushing away a ton of business with this policy. Uh, just just in those realms there. This is going to cost eBay a lot of money if they don't get it fixed. Oh, and motor vehicles. <laughs> Although, a lot of times in motor vehicles, they're asking for a, um, a cashier's check or something like that anyway, I think. But man, this is uh, it's a big deal. So, yeah, why are they doing it? I'm I'm guessing they're trying to mitigate risk, but if they're forcing people out of a payment option where you can sell that kind of stuff into theirs where you can't, they're basically just banning us selling that stuff on the site, aren't they? That really stinks. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.